Now, after we've kind of unfolded it, the first thing we've done is to identify the bow in the stern section of the cover. Now, the bow on the inside, you can see all the reinforcement patches in this cover, by the way. There's a sewn-in label that's going to indicate, hey, this is the front of the bow. Now, in a V-Hull bow rider, it's pretty easy because the bow is very pointed compared to the stern, but you want to locate that bow section. The other thing you want to do is find the stern. Now, we've got a cutout in the stern where the rope comes out, as you can see, but also there's another sewn-in label in the stern. Now, what we're going to do is stretch this cover out. Now, with the top side up, I'm going to roll this cover up towards the bow in preparation of getting it on the bow. Okay, we're ready to install our custom cover for this 1996 Sea Ray. We've located the bow, we've hooked that section over the front of the bow, and now we're just going to roll the whole cover back. Now, when you get to the corners of the windshield, you want to be a little careful that you don't catch the cover and tear it. And the last thing you want to do is put a hole in your brand new cover. Now, because it's a custom cover, there's a sewn-in windshield reinforcement right where it needs to go. But if it were a uh, universal or perhaps a semi-custom, you always want to be careful when you're putting that cover on of any sharp corners that you might come into. Now we're going to go to the stern, and you'll notice there'll be a cutout section of the cover where our quarter-inch nylon rope comes out of the hem. Now with all of your custom covers, we include this quick lock rope adjuster, which is a quick tensioning and loosening device. So what you're going to do here is simply pull on that rope through the adjuster and tighten that rope in the hem of the cover down tightly against your hull. Okay, included with all of our custom covers is a tie-down kit. The tie-down kit includes 10 8-foot lengths of our polypropylene webbing with UV additives for longevity. And in the perimeter of the cover, you'll find our tie-down loops with the adjustable buckle already sewn in. Now the straps themselves have a loop sewn in one end, so what you're going to do is locate its position on the trailer as in line as you can find with the loops on the cover. Simply thread the end through, then bring that end up to the adjuster buckle, thread it through. Now the instructions that come with the cover has some close-up pictures so you can see just exactly how to thread these buckles. Okay, And then tighten to secure. You're going to want to repeat this for all of the straps around the perimeter of this boat. Okay, we're just about finished with the installation of our custom cover. I wanted to mention, as you're going around installing the tie-down system, each of these straps, you may find an area in the stern or like this where you have a lot of extra webbing. Feel free to cut that webbing off, but Take a lighter and just flame the edge so that the fabric doesn't unravel.